surprised they were actually kicking it to you early in the quarter? Were you think like, did y'all not watch the film from the Wake Forest fan? They actually kicking me the ball. Like, were you kind of surprised if you got some some kicks in action this week? Uh, to be honest, yeah, I was kind of surprised. Like we had put in like a whole game plan in case they cross kicked it to the off return of Jordan. So I was surprised they kept kicking it to me over and over again. And back to back kickoff returns and, and back to back games, like what do you? That's all vision, the speed, is blocking. What, what's kind of working for you? How you get into your groove in that part of the game these last couple of weeks? Uh, I don't. I honestly don't know. It's just like as we go, just kind of read it out. Like things are just kind of unfolding, and now my vision is just kind of working, and I'm just happening to go the right direction. It's not something that I'm seeing that's open as I'm running. It's just something like a natural reaction. It's just working out for the best of me right now. Corey, go ahead. So, Bam, that uh, that rushing touchdown by Ricky uh, to open the scoring in the second quarter was the first rushing touchdown by an NC State running back uh, in ACC play so far this year. You know, how important was that for you guys in terms of, of getting confidence and uh, and kind of getting back to, to what you want to be able to do in the ground game? Yeah, I think it was very important because, like, even me and Ricky, we had a conversation earlier. It was like, we got to – get in the box. We haven't scored since La Tech. So it's just something we took a um, big emphasis in doing today. And luckily, Rick was able to get in there. So it kind of ended that drop for us. And is there something different for you guys about running at home? Because, I mean, all eight of your rushing touchdowns so far this year between the two of you uh, have been scored at NC St or at Carter Finley. Uh, I wouldn't say it's different. I'd, I'd say the fan base really, honestly, just adds more motivation, the atmosphere, the energy coming from the crowd. Just it makes you more motivated and more determined to get in there. Appreciate it. David, go ahead. Hey, you know, regardless of what happens in, in the coming week, what does it mean just to, to be going into the UNC game knowing that a, an ACC uh, divisional title is, is still up for grabs? Uh, for us as players, I don't think we kind of – are thinking of it as that, you know, we're just taking it week by week and however it works out, it works out. So we're just taking it with the mind, same mindset we took early in the season and as we're taking now, just week by week. Playing this game the day after Thanksgiving, do you eat less on Thanksgiving than you normally would? Uh, that's, that's a good question. Uh, I think since we're going to be in the team hotel Thursday, we're actually going to kind of do a dinner, a team dinner Wednesday, just to kind of give it time for stuff to get out of our system. So I think by then, by game time, everything, our systems will be going clear. Everybody will be hydrated. So we wouldn't have, we should not have any issues. Smart. Okay, cool. Thanks. Last question for Bam will come from Rob. Yeah, Bam. Uh... When you went to NC State, you played a lot of big games these last few weeks. You said you take them one at a time, but how neat is it to be playing in these big games? I'd imagine that was why you chose to go to North Carolina State. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very unique. It's kind of why I made a decision to decommit from Duke and come here. And luckily, it's worked out for the best. But, you know, something about coming out here Saturday nights and just going to war with my O-line, quarterbacks, wide receivers, just putting it all on line for them and just – just a different type of feeling. And I'm just glad I, the guy led me in the right direction and kind of led me here to NC State. How do you detach? You said you take them one at a time. How do you detach and take them that simply when it's when it's such a big game? Uh, it's just it's just a mindset you have to have. You can't look too far into the future. Like this week, we were worried about what next week was going to bring just for um, ACC championships. So then that would have kind of just made us perform less efficient tonight. So you just have to you have to focus on that night, focus on that game plan, and just kind of just keep pushing throughout. And then as the next week comes, you kind of move on to them, let the past be the past, and let the present be in the present. So it's just live in the moment, go from there. Thank you for your time, sir. Mm -hmm. Thanks, ma'am. All right, guys, last player will be Thayer Thomas.